to your mark. Go. One, two, three. Okay. Now it's an MA chop, so they'll probably just take their time, but you'll see each one will probably put in about three or four hits per board hole. At the top, they might put in just an extra couple to make sure. There you go, Craig's only got four hits, which is ideal. There you see Pete's dropped a board, so he has to get it himself. He can't let anyone else uh, assist him. So Craig, uh, three, four hits, you'll see. You'll just probably take that a little bit more just to make sure that uh, that top board hold is safe because if you come out of that tree at that height, that's probably what? best part of three metres off the ground, he's got a fall, and by the time, you know, he's up the top, he's got a fair height. So you'll see that Craig is uh, standing well out on that board. His back foot is uh, such that you'll see that board bending and springing with the weight as he swings the axe. That's the idea that the board is in a slightly upward position, that as he swings, he gets a little bit more purchase and power with the axe takes uh, a fair bit of skill and, as I said, balance to just stand there and swing the axe, but if you get the assistance of that board springing, it gives you that little bit more power. Looks like Pete's peeling it out. He looks to have a pretty good block. Okay, you'll see when these axemen come down, they'll drop that axe down. They've got uh, bags there so that the axe... Craig will bring that board down with him. He'll pull that board around and leave it on the back side there, ready for when he starts that uh, to put the board hole into the back side there. Now, he'll put that board in. You'll see he'll pick up those two boards and lean them against the, the, the bottom board. And he'll use those boards just like a, as a leverage to get up onto that board. Pete's a bit more agile. He springs up. Okay, Craig brings that board up with him, he'll place it and balance it so that it won't fall. He'll probably, now he'll move out, he looks like he's not quite happy with that board, so it's just sagging a bit, so he's shortened his uh, stance on the board, so there's not quite as much weight on the back of it. But I think he feels safe enough and is experienced enough to be able to just plug away and keep going. Now he'll spring up there, you watch this, look at that, beautiful. On there, look, feet's up with him, so they're both going to hit almost together, so a good race. Both have got an excellent board at the top, you'll see it's just got, as I said, that very slight uphill stance that uh, allows plenty of purchase and spring when they, when they swing the axe. I don't know how they're going, but they're going to be very close to driving, both of them. There we go. Bang. Well done. Well done, Axman. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. A very good, excellent, excellent demonstration. As I said, these two Axmen are probably among the finest top six tree fellas in Queensland. And they're local, so um, well done, Axman. Very much a uh, an endurance event, an Ironman event. You wouldn't think that just climbing up three boards like that would take it out of you, but it does when you're uh, when you've got to cut the board holes, take the axe with you, bring your boards up, and then cut a block at the top. The sport evolved, or the, the sport of tree cutting evolved years ago. I think in in the early history of wood chopping, and particularly in, in Victoria.